This is Bob. Bob runs his own small business. Bob has just bought a new piece of manufacturing equipment, and he has decided to follow gap rules and depreciate it. But he doesn't know how. A quick search on Google taught Bob that there are many different methods for depreciation, like sum of the year's digits, or double declining balance. These all sound very confusing to Bob. Perhaps we can help him out today. For starters, it's important to know that the IRS has their own special rules for depreciation that are more specific than gap rules. It is always recommended to have a tax accountant help you prepare depreciation calculations for tax purposes. For today, however, Bob is only interested in reporting depreciation on his financial statements for GAAP, so we can help him out. Although there are many different methods for recording depreciation, let's start Bob off with the simplest method, straight line depreciation. In order to calculate straight line depreciation, we need three basic ingredients, the original cost of the fixed asset, the estimated useful life of the asset, and the salvage value of the asset. The original cost is the amount you paid for the asset. The estimated useful life is an estimate of how many years you think the equipment will be used to generate revenue. This isn't the same as its physical life, this is just the number of years you think it will be useful in generating revenue. The salvage value is the estimated cost you think you could sell the asset for at the end of its useful life. For example, let's say that Bob purchased his equipment for $3,000. He plans to use the equipment for 7 years and then hopes to sell the equipment for $200 at the end of those 7 years. To calculate depreciation, using the straight line method, Bob would need to take his equipment costs and subtract the salvage value. This is known as the depreciable value, or the amount that will be depreciated. This amount is then divided by the useful life in years. This will give Bob the amount of depreciation he can record each month. So, in Bob's example, he would take the $3,000 of equipment cost and subtract the salvage value of $200. This would leave a depreciable value of $2,800. Divide that by the useful life of 7 years, and Bob's annual depreciation is $400 per year for 7 years. See Bob? That wasn't so hard. Just remember that straight line depreciation is calculated by taking the original cost minus the salvage value and then dividing it by the useful life. To learn more about depreciation and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.